The wisdom of God beyond limitation. Uh, somebody has had it. I mean, anybody? You were here last Sunday. Do you gain anything? Can somebody just tell us some things within split seconds? This is what I learned. This is what I learned. I need just two people, preferably a male and a female. Anybody? Nobody's raising up your hand. You are checking your notes. That you have not been applying it. Praise the Lord. One of our goal here is that we want to raise Christians. That they will, that will be, let me tell you, the world will come to an end. The world will be challenges. But we are raising Christians that will rise above those challenges. You hear the testimony now of Brother Adeniji that they have a program and there was no money but God proved himself. You heard the comments of Mrs. Taylor. One of the parents saw them and said, ah, this lockdown and closure of school did not reflect in you. That is what we call Christianity. Christianity has to survive and shine when things are not palatable. That's when people will ask, who is your God? Show me your God. Praise the Lord. The wisdom of God is beyond limitation. And last Sunday I told you that the living wisdom is Jesus. Who recollects? First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.24 says that. Bible is the written wisdom of God. Praise the Lord. And you can see that one in Psalm 119 verse 105. He said that the word is a lamp unto my feet and light unto my path. The word light. The word light. It's not talking about this kind of light. It's talking about illumination in your heart direction cancel wisdom oh, no. understanding oh, yeah. ability to understand situation more than the others that's what the bible means by light making taking advantage of knowledge and i told you that our limitation is because we are carnal we are looking at things from carnality Somebody ask, why do we have different denominations? The reason is this. The reason for denominations is, is equally because of the Bible. In the Bible, a lot of pastors have never known that there are different dispensations in the Bible. They don't know. They just model the preaching together. 
And all those dispensations, people were serving God. But presently, we are in this dispensation of the church. Governed by the Holy Spirit. But some pastors, prophets, they are still operating. We have pastors operating the dispensation of conscience. Dispensations of man. Dispensations of the prophets. Dispensations of the law. Dispensation of the apostles. Some people don't know that there are dispensations of there's a difference between when Jesus started his ministry. The starting of the ministry of Jesus till his death is a different dispensation some people don't know and when Jesus now resurrected and they will receive the Holy Ghost that is another dispensation entirely and if you pick your Bible from Genesis to Revelation you can pick any, you can pick any doctrine you will have Bible to back it but you may not be operating in the perfect will of God praise the Lord some people if Christians they cannot distinguish between the religion of the Jew and Christianity some people who claim to be Christian today they are indirectly practicing the religions of the Jews the Jews who started in the days of the law if you read the law it's not that ten commandment that you have for the law still the sub-divided the Subsection, subsection, subsection. And he guided everything about the Jew by then. Praise the Lord. He guided the way they will behave, the way they will talk, how they will do everything, to the extent of their animals and their plantations. They observe days. Are you getting it now? They observe seasons and periods. They have the Lord that guide what they will eat. Ironically, that is what some church call Christianity. And they will criticize somebody else who is not practicing that thing. But do you know the law was not given to the old world? It was given to the Jew. If the law and the practice of the Jews can give eternal life. Jesus wouldn't have come. That's why Jesus said, I have come that you may have life. And you has has been practicing law for more than 400 years before Jesus came. But today, how many churches are based on the law? The practice of the law. But one Dutch chapel is based on the achieved work of Christ. Praise the Lord. Some people don't know that the Lord that Jesus used when he was on the world is different when he now resurrected. Praise the Lord. They don't know. They model everything. Beloved. There will be challenges. You know you like it or not. But it's not sent to a believer for his destruction. It's sent to a believer for his uplifting. Praise the Lord. He's sent to a believer for his uplifting, for his shining. Praise the Lord. I told you. As of what? Lockdown has promoted some people. It has changed a lot of things. Who forced us now to start spending the two when we want to do ceremony? Who taught us? Corona. Corona. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You know when your father died before, you kill five cow now. You can even, you can even kill a gun and say you are going to be there. Abi, am I talking? What about naming ceremony? Before I tell you, when you, you, you can 
you can call Pasuma before for your name. Do you have the time now? Let me tell you, some people are crying that the church is locked down. The church is not locked down. Yes. Pastor may shout. Before we want to see ourselves physically, it may affect our offering. But truly, let's face reality. As government block salvation of souls, as he block evangelism, so let's face reality. As he as he stop that. So did I prove it? Don't we have people that are now getting saved through preaching online? Then, then what is happening? It may be another me that God wants to use. Because we're Christian nowadays, we are more or less concerned with church, not with Christ. Everything. What can take advantage of it for your words? What is the wisdom of God? What the word of God says? Praise the Lord. And you lure. I found out that this same Bible, you can interpret it as a man of senses. If you are a man of senses, Bible, Bible is confusing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are a man of senses, this thing is either what confusing. But if a man of the spirit, you will know different dispensation. Oh my Why a particular word was spoken at any time? How many times are people used to preach and say they are not giving the Lord tickets? It's a lie. Irony. It was Job who said that. Job who said that. If you read Psalm 91, what does the Bible say? It says, with long life will I satisfy you. I believe God is talking to you. I believe he's talking to you. Which one will you now pick? 70 years. The governor said, Lord, 70 is okay now. He's, he's, about, to, he's, about, to, he's about to spend about 70 he died. What, what is a man faster? The word of your mouth, not your enemy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. With long life, that's the wisdom of God. Praise the Lord. And you lure. If you have challenges at the age of 70, you can challenge that oh, thing. You can say, I reject sickness. Because God has spoken that with long life, will it satisfy me? And it will satisfy you. Praise the Lord. And you lure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Romans chapter 4, last, last Sunday, I told you, the Bible says, against hope, Abraham believed in hope. And I said, the first hope is the hope of what we can say. The second hope is what the word of God says. Praise the Lord. Which one are you picking? Most Christians, they believe the material things is what we convince them that they are rich. When I buy my Lamborghini, when I buy my Porsche, when my yacht just arrived, I would say yes, I bought it. It's good. But for your information, you are a man of senses. But before your yachts come, 
The Bible says, all things are yours. He you said, you are blessed with us spiritual you blessings in heavenly places. Are you getting it now? He said, by his poverty, you are rich. And he said, the grace of God is sufficient for you. He said, the Lord is your shepherd. You shall not be in want. He said, the earth and its fullness are yours. Which one will you prefer? When I'm praying, I do tell God that God, I don't need a plane to convince me to know that I'm rich. Lord, your word is enough. And by your poverty, I am rich. I can boldly say anywhere, I'm a rich man. I may not be able to compete with you physically, <inaudible> but I believe the word of God. I'm a rich man. That is the wisdom of God <inaudible> that we are preaching. <inaudible> the Bible says we pray the wisdom of God in a mystery. <inaudible> when we are believing God for the fruit of the womb, <inaudible> we will count our days of marriage. <inaudible> the anniversary. When the clock is months, despite the fact that my wife witnessed a menstrual period, I said, God, thank you. Because we have one month pregnant. Second month, we keep on counting. We can turn our light to reality. My wife was initially disturbed. I took my time to cancel her. I said, know this. You don't need to miss your menstrual period to believe that you are pregnant. Believe the word of God. If you, if, if you need to wait for menstrual period to believe that you are pregnant, and your pregnancy is three months, and menstrual period comes, what has removed your pregnancy? What brought it is what remove it. You miss your period, that is when you say, Thank you, I'm pregnant. After the man now come, what does I say? I have miscarriage. It's good for a man of sense. Are you getting it now? But for a man of the spirit, a created person in Christ, that is wrong. The day you collect your salary, yes. This is okay now. This is okay. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go to surprise. Let's go to Captain Cook. Money day now. Uh -huh. But when your salary finishes, you are downcasted. Say, my brother, I won't deceive you. I'm broke. I'm broke. It's a life of living. But you cannot escape limitation by that. Even when you are indebted to neck, against hope, declare by his poverty and there is abundance in this house. If somebody can say I need 70 years and he died 70 plus 2 or 3 months. There is power in utterance. Uh -huh. So if somebody can say I'm broke and poor, he will have praise the Lord. He will have Some people say, he did a use, he did a to me, he did a use, no, he did a use. If it's Timo, what Timo Fire with Timo Bima, Timo Rock, or they are to me, this is the answer. I have children, I don't know about you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I've, I've come to fulfill the purpose here. So, this one to me is not a miserable word. Even if I die tomorrow, you are my testimony. I've not wasted my life. I've not wasted my life. Every morning, we say, vanity of vanity. Why not pack your load and go? Can't you pack your load and go? Pack your load tomorrow. Move. And it's very easy to die. Pack your load tomorrow. Move. And it's very easy to die. I'm telling you. Just block your nose, block your mouth. Within five minutes, you go. Praise the Lord. This is not for a Christian. This is not a miserable world. Let's change our language. Praise the Lord. You may not have car by his poverty. You may not have job by his 
poverty, you are rich. I will tell my children, you don't need degree to be a success. Because Christ is in you, you are a born success. That's reality. How many graduates are suffering now? How many professors are in poverty? Eh? How many? Then if we say it's degree that will make us a success, tell somebody the wisdom of God is beyond your limitations. I'm pleading to you, please start seeing your life from the angles of the Bible. I do tell the devil I'm not struggling with you. I do not struggling with you. My own Bible says, Jesus has spoiled principality and power. And because it is no longer I vote Christ, so I've spoiled principality and power. That's my mindset. That's where I think. That's where I reason. And I walk in the wisdom of God. I speak to your life. No matter what you are passing through, I command them to be working for your advantage. The third age is not on your side. All things work together for your good. Yes. I'm telling you, you say work for your good. Everything that has been working against you, I decree in the name of Jesus to stop being for your testimonies. In the name of Jesus, those thoughts making you to say secrets. In the name of Jesus, they become a testimony. I declare turn around in the name of Jesus. That situation in your marriage, that situation in your relationship, that situation in your business, that situation of the government, that situation in your heart, they are working for your good. In the name of Jesus. Because Christ is your life, you are on top of all situations. Because Jesus is your life, you are on top of all situations. In the name of Jesus. 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 It is well with you, you are blessed.